This mainly relates on how wireless headphones have evolved. The active noise control feature is a direct result of manufacturers understanding that they need to work on their sound quality and add new features to adapt their products to the environment that they're going to be used in. This power-consuming feature on wireless devices that already lacked long battery life is a step forward, but the implementation needs more time to bring the results headphone enthusiasts are expecting. Noise cancelling was at first a passive spectrum where it meant good isolation from the outside noises by using good foam, noise isolating materials and skillful design. That also meant that good noise cancelling headphones were very expensive and only came from the biggest names in the business. After a while, manufacturers implemented ways of electronically enhancing their product's noise cancelling capabilities and the active noise control or active noise reduction feature appeared. The technology behind this is nothing new, with prototypes being built by Bose as early as 1986. It relies on emitting a sound wave with the same amplitude but with an inverted phase that serves the sole purpose of dealing with any surrounding sound threats that may hamper your listening satisfaction. Often, wireless devices are specially designed urban and commuter sound accessories that lack the big padded cans with help wired devices achieve their unparalleled sound quality. What they do win on space saving and design, they lose on noise cancelling capabilities by being smaller, lighter and consuming more energy when turning on active noise control. Improving this aspect could mean a world of difference that could bring wireless noise cancelling headphones on par with their wired counterparts. Like in any battle, both sides are driven by different needs and aspirations. What we can safely say is that wireless noise cancelling technology is on a good path to becoming a more reliable, quality-infused source and entertaining source of listening pleasure. It just needs those final steps that will take it from mass market to audible excellence.